Welcome back. Um, this is the second part of the tutorial. This is where I'm going to go into using Cut 3D and uh, developing our tool paths for the two contours that we want to cut on our Telecaster style guitar. Now you can see I've got this um, objective file, wavefront objective file loaded in here. You can see the curvature here, surface. Um, and then you can see our box that we created. Now by creating that box underneath the surface the way we did, we now have a depth of exactly 1.65 inches, which is what we needed for this to work. If you don't have that, then the depth is different, this won't work. Um, pretty simple. It's not going to import into VCar Pro, which I had a really hard time figuring out, um, but finally figured out by a lot of trial and error that the depths are very important for importing. Um, what I'm going to do is make sure we have a side to machine, make sure units are set in inches. Um, we're just going to machine the top, obviously. Um, we want to make sure that our Y and X are set up to how we're going to machine um, on our CNC. We're going to hit apply. Um, next. Okay, now here are some settings that are very, very important. We need to establish where our Z height is going to be for the whole project. I like to put mine on the top. Um, so it's right here. We want to, this isn't so important as far as the orientation of the X and Y because we're going to be moving that around in VCar Pro when we have this set. Um, our margins around the model are very important here because if we don't set them right, then this is going to try to cut around the model. And, and down 1.65 depth um, on this contour, which is going to cut right through the middle of our guitar and ruin it. Um, so what we need to do, and I found that I have this symmetrical clicked, and I click Use Model Silhouette. Now you would think you would just use zero as far as the uh, margins, but for some reason I've had problems with that. So what I do in here is I set this to point zero 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 one. Okay, so what's that like one millionth of an inch or one ten thousandth of an inch or something? Um, let's hit apply. Okay, and let's go to let's look here. Cut plane position. None of that. Oh, that should be set. It should be fine. So let's go to next. Okay, now we want to figure out of course what we're going to use when we're doing this. I like to use um, a half inch ball nose for my roughing and also for my cutting of this contour. I don't like to switch tools in between and have to reset my Z height and all that. So I pretty much have these um, step overs and path steps, path depths set already. Um, my feed rates and so forth set. Um, I like to come down here and for strategy Z level um, I'm going to use raster X profile none I don't like to profile on my roughing okay so let's go ahead and calculate and you can see basically it's just gonna cut a little bit of the lower parts of that surface and uh, hog them out for the final machining um, let's go to finishing toolpath we have the same. I have my parameter set for what I like to call my finishing parameters, um, which is like 3% on the half inch ball nose. I have a um, raster angle along the X, so it goes up and down this way. It's going to be fine. Let's calculate. Okay, so we finished up calculating that. Now we want to look in here real closely and you can see that I'm just covering the surface and not going over the edge of the surface and down into the guitar in any areas. Okay, we're going to click Next. We don't want to cut out to a path, obviously. We'll go to Next. We can do a quick preview. I like to watch it with mahogany for some reason. I'm going to go Finishing Toolpath. Okay, and we can see that 
we have that contour. How it's going to look. Uh, you can't really see too much at this point. Um, just going to make, make sure it looks smooth and looks like it's going to work. Okay, next step is a very important step in that we need to save this. Okay, we're going to save it um, inch format, mod 2, 3, roughing toolpath save. Um, at this point, I would suggest starting some new folders for these. So we're going to go new folder. And I meant to name that, but I didn't. So let's go in real quick and rename. And let's rename this front contour. Okay, inside the front contour folder, put roughing toolpath top. I'm going to go finishing toolpath top. Now, very importantly, we're going to go to File, Save As, we have Front Contour, Vector Cut 3D File, and we will put that inside Front Contour folder. So we have all of those saved into an individual folder. Okay, very quickly, we're going to do the other one. Okay, now I've opened up the bottom contour file. Okay, now here's where things get a little bit tricky. Because obviously, right now, you can see um, I'm set up to machine this instead of the actual contour, so I need to flip it around. So we need to click bottom. And now we can see we're oriented correctly. Now, one trick here is when you go to the bottom contour, we're going to need to rotate this around. The reason we're going to need to rotate this around is when we flip our vectors in VCAR Pro, then this is going to need to be flipped. And I can't flip this once I develop the tool paths, if I develop them just like this. Um, the way I like to flip things um, in VCAR Pro is much like turning the page in a book and flipping it over. I don't like to flip it, say, front to backwards. So I like to rotate this um, in Cut 3D. So it's going to look like this when I flip it flip the model over and uh, I want to generate my tool pass with this um, orientation let's say okay so really quickly let's go through the rest of these motions um, we come to model silhouette again we come into zero 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 one probably don't even need that many zeros but what the heck um, let's come into Make sure I have none selected for Z level roughing, same parameters, calculate. See here it's gonna hog out those sections again. Let's go to next. Uh, finishing tool pass, let's calculate them. Okay, and we're back again. And I have to pause it while that's generating or I'll we'll run out of time for sure. Um, can do the previews. I don't even need to do the previews because I know it's going to work. Okay, we're going to save these the same way. We're going to go in here, create a new folder. Let's call it bottom contours. Actually, just one contour contour. Let's go in, save roughing, save finishing, and save the whole thing as that in bottom country folder kind of need to start staying organized to make this work the next step which I'll see you with in the next tutorial